Well, it all depends on your perspective. Today, snow can cancel an event, mean, mean trouble for drivers. But if you look beyond the travel troubles, a big snow can be a good sign for those who enjoy or earn their living with winter sports. And with up to a foot of snow predicted, cross-country ski trails are preparing, and ski stores are expecting big sales. Fox 11's Ryan Dietz has that part of the story with another view. Bust out the skis and sleds. The snow is finally here. After all of the digging out is done, those that enjoy winter sports are getting what they asked for. A lot of the skiers have been frustrated by the end. Uh, what you might call nice weather so far. <laughs> a lot of times a big snow can mean big business for stores that sell skis and snowboards. Greg Botner is one of the managers at Skiers Outlet in Oshkosh. He says business is starting to pick up and expects even more after the snow stops. Botner believes people are ready to hit the slopes. They're excited about it. In this store, we, we don't have the, the gripers about the weather. They're usually people that are looking forward to it. Nordic Mountain Ski Resort is one of the few slopes set to open Friday afternoon. Officials there say they have been making snow and are happy to get a fresh storm. One place that doesn't need to make snow is Plumbing Park in Grand Chute. The crew there is getting ready to groom the cross-country skiing trails despite the weather. I expect to be out tomorrow morning doing some grooming. Brian Feast from the Outagamie County Parks Department says he needs about six inches of snow to groom the trails. And we just, every time we get snow, we'll try to get the groomer out if there's enough snow for it. Enough snow is something winter enthusiasts can probably count on. Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News. Another cross-country skiing location is the Buolts Nature Preserve in Grand Chute. Managers there say they plan on grooming trails Thursday. To find ski and snowmobile conditions across the state, there's a link in the news link section on the right-hand side of our homepage.